Richard Ord's first goal for nearly two and a half years really had Grimsby on the run at Roker Park. Now Sunderland are back in the thick of the promotion race after their third win in a row in the midweek mist. It's thanks to the best defence in the league, Lone Star Shea Given is looking to keep his eighth clean sheet in ten games. As for Grimsby, well, they've been sidetracked by the Cup, but as Ivano Benetti proved against Derby, they can live with the best. The Italian's nursing his damaged eye after a bust-up with the boss. Brian Laws has made up, but his star's still injured. Grimsby Town against Sunderland is this afternoon's big game in Division 1, and it's exclusively live from Blundell Park. Hello and welcome to the Tyne Tees match. Peter Reid's side can put some daylight between themselves and the chasing pack at the top of the first division this afternoon. A win would take them five points clear of Charlton and Stoke, as well as closing the gap on the leaders' derby. Our main match kicks off at three, but we've got plenty to keep you entertained. Before then, first we're going to have a look back to last March, when Sunderland were last at Blundell Park. That time, they were really on the receiving end. Scott, well, that's dispossessed there by Gary Childs. With a Livingstone, and that's a goal for Grimsby. Steve Livingstone. Melville under it again. Great, it's got a flick on. Russell, good work there. Russell and Agnew. That's an excellent equaliser from Steve Agnew. So much more. Entertainment value in the football in this second half. Gilbert popping up back on the left flank and not a bad cross as well. It's a goal for Grimsby. It's Livingston again. He's got his second. Here comes Livingston, the hitman today. Good ball in and Forrester. Excellent goal. That's three for Grimsby. Well, as we saw, Mick Buxton was in charge then. Peter Reid took over, and what a difference he has made. A couple of weeks ago, the end of January, this is what happened between the two sides at Roker Park. Well, no doubt Grimsby will be more than happy to try their luck with the advantage in the second half. Easton trying to look it square for Hall. Up the line. Kuduchki missed it, and Forrester now is in here. Jamie Forrester on his own. And that's an excellent save from young Shea Gibbon. 20 years against 19. And it was just the junior who came up with the winning performance there. Kubitschke misread the bounce. Forrester, who scored his first Grimsby beat goal against Sunderland, couldn't get a second one there. That was an excellent piece of work by Gibbon. Locked in deep. Well, that was different, and again Gibbon comes to the rescue, and again it's Forrester who misses out. Improvisation here at the heart of that move, to say the least. Scott knocking it in deep, and Ord coming in at the far post, and he scored. The captain shows the way, and Richard Ord finally gets the breakthrough. It's his first goal since October 1993. And the timing is spot on. Scott right across there. Two men after it, there was no offside. And Ord finished off the job himself. Croft. Rose trying to set up another move, but Martin Scott bringing it away impressively. And one for Russell to run onto again if he's got the pace. He'll really have to produce some finish here, and he very nearly did. Crashing drive there from Craig Russell, but quite to his credit, he come onto the edge of his six yard box to deal with it. What a good break, though. It's so impressive when he gets into top gear. He thumped it and pushed away well. Well, I'm delighted to say that this afternoon our guest is Lenny Lawrence, the manager of Luton Town, who actually watched that game down at Roker Park. What will we win for this afternoon, Lenny? I think it'll be a very good game. I mean, it's hard to believe Grimsby haven't won a league game since November, although they're a decent side, as I can well testify <laughs> to. And uh, Sutherland Rowan.